Welcome back to Solarix. Since the last time I played, patch 1.2 has come out, and one of the fixes for the patch is fixing the medkit bug, which is very, very good, but unfortunately it was a little bit too late to help me. But at least it's fixed. Alright, so I'm coming back here at the same place I was at the end of the last episode, which is I tried to get the keycard, got the keycard, and then died on the way back, and my save point was from before I got the keycard. So let's go get it again. I think it was on the table on the right. I think that's it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I just need to make it back. Without glitching out on the elevator. Now, if I remember it, I think the problem when I first went down the elevator was that... Yeah, there's actually lights down there. There's a light right there. Which means, even if I'm crouched, it doesn't matter. If they're looking my way, they're going to see me. So that's a huge problem. I need to make sure they're not actually looking my way when I go down, but how do I do that? It's, uh, it's not exactly easy to look over. Yeah, this is going to be kind of tricky. I just need like five seconds where I'm just totally clear down there and then I can just shuffle into the dark. But I need like five seconds. Okay, now's my, now's my chance, I think. Oh boy, okay, wait, well, I'm not... Okay, they don't actually see me. I guess I went past the light. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm ready to press the button. Damn it, I can't fit through this little hole. I want to go there. Ooh, okay. We're good. There's another light there. Hold on. I'm just gonna close that behind me. Okay. We are truly good. You don't say. It's almost like the eye cannibalized Amy's systems after weakening her. multidisciplinary capabilities. Active employees switch between work required of certain subclasses on a fixed weekly schedule. Schedules are relative to Earth time, UTC. Company representatives are exempt from all minimum requirements outlined below. Minimum requirements. One, comprehensive expertise in one subclass. Two, reasonable knowledge and skill in two subclasses. Three, one of the following. <laughs> So the executives don't have to have any reasonable knowledge or any particular skills. <laughs> nice. Ten hours of labor service twice per week. I'm not gonna listen to the rest of that. I don't think it really matters. Oh. Looks like it's uh, email. Worst case scenario, secure stasis pods failing. Terrace, Bowman, Spine, and Kitchens are secure, but we're losing control of the dead ones. Cheery, Abler, Ross, Marth, Mefner, they're aware. Eyes open. Shut the program down quickly. What program? I? Or Amy? Ah, who knows. Wait, what I'm actually trying to do now, I totally forgot. 
Deactivate autopilot procedures. All right, it's going to send the ship to Earth. All right, I don't know which way goes which. Let's pick one and go. Is that a stasis pod? It is, cryostasis. Ooh, pretty thing. <laughs> you know what that looks like? Have you ever seen the uh, the Windows XP CDs? They have that weird, like, foil look. It actually kind of looks like that. Oh, looks like both of these are kind of stasis bot chambers. Is there somebody actually inside of here? I'd sure like to wake them up and talk to somebody else who's alive and not infected. Somebody other than Betty? Hmm. This place is kind of labyrinthian. There's a lot of doors. They're very confined. I don't like it. Really is a beautiful view. Whoa, hello. <gasps> Shotgun. I think all my dreams just came true. Holy crap. Oh, that's right. I needed a soldier's suit to get past the encryption, right? Didn't I? It doesn't actually say it here, but I thought I did. Oh boy. Yeah, only with this outfit, identification access to ship sections can be cleared. Looks like I got all my old tools back. Got the classic shocker. Pew! That's weird. That is so weird how it ignores your input when you try to click really fast. Here's what happens when I click fast. But look at that, it was like five seconds before it shot again. But if you do it slowly... Oh, I messed it up. Is so weird. I don't get it. Anyway. Alright, I've got my thingies, right? Oh, boy. Six shots. I'm assuming, point blank, the shotgun would probably put one of those things down in, in one shot. Especially if you hit him in the head. It is a shotgun, after all. Amy Inquiry Log, Inquirer Von Hefner. Can you get married on this ship? <laughs> As per the International Technological Amity Act of blah blah blah, can't personally obtain the rights of any. Ma okay. No, I mean, can anyone get married, not just you? I know what you meant. I haven't really answered my question, not a valid inquiry. Will you please answer my question? Though it is a legal possibility to obtain a marriage license while operating within the bounds of the mission, I explicitly forbid you, specifically Mr. Von Hefner, from doing so. All license requests must be processed through my servers. 
I exercise my power to deny you access. Why? Because you've been dating Alicia for two months. <laughs> Whoa. What? You're not a relationship counselor. What? I merely recount her sentiments. She contacted me earlier. What did she say? I'm not at liberty to reveal the details of my conversation. What the hell? What just happened here? So he wants to... Or, or at least he's considering marrying somebody who's been dating for two months. And Amy just completely denied him specifically from getting married. Th that's weird. And Amy is merely recounting her own sentiments. The person that he's dating, Alicia. There's some weird stuff going on there, but I don't know what. Why would she care? Why would she care at all, Amy, about whether they get married or not? How does that affect her? It's weird. That's really weird. What the f- Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, those noises! For a second I thought that was ambient sound, and then I heard the footsteps. Okay, thank God it's dumb as a box of rocks. It hit the wall and then didn't know where to go from there. God, their pathfinding is so terrible! Now it's jiggling back and forth. You gotta hit it from the back. It's not gonna work. <laughs> oh. What the? This isn't a shotgun. This is a blunderbuss. You're telling me I just tried to shoot this monster from literally about three feet away with a shotgun and not a single round hit him. What? Okay. Shotgun? I thought you were cool. Now I don't. Do you have takes? What it? I don't like those noises. Pistol ammo. That implies that I'm perhaps about to find a pistol in this very locker? Ooh! I think I'm gonna like the pistol more than the shotgun, because the shotgun is absurdly inaccurate. Alright, I'm not gonna be afraid to pick up a med pack now, now that I know they fixed the bug. Supposedly. Amy inquiry from Alicia Kitchens. This is the other side of the story. The person that he was dating and the person who supposedly contacted Amy. I'd like to report a crime. Please continue. I'd like to report myself for killing someone. Who? Vaughn. What the fuck? Wait, she's reporting herself for killing Vaughn Hefter. That's the guy that was just talking about wanting to marry her. Wait, I want to know the dates on the other one compared to the dates here. I, di I didn't note them down. Is this... This must be after, right? Hold on, I'm gonna write down this date. And then go check it afterwards. I'd like to report a crime, 2166-0705. Heck, I'll even write down the hour. UTC. Okay. 
Was the incident accidental? I shot him with a gun. That is not suitable, Alicia. From where did you acquire the weapon? It's the one he threatened me with. They told me I should keep it safe if he comes back. Did he return? Yes. Your actions were in self-defense, I assume? No. I invited him over. He still had the scars on his face that Song gave him. I told him I was going to make everything better. I didn't think I would kill him. But he was looking at me like I betrayed him after all this time, and his eyes were... I felt smothered. I felt like he was smothering me while he was still breathing, and while I was still breathing his recycled air, I felt like he was all around me everywhere I went. So I shot him. Are you certain he is deceased? There may be a suitable piece of understanding to exploit. I can acquire for you psychological help if need be. I'm sure he's dead. I shot him. Oh god, the smell of him. Have you been taking medication? No, no, I'm not. Your emotional state indicates that you were angry at him, presumably for his assault on you six months ago. Why have you acted now? I've been planning on killing for a while now. I wasn't angry, it just felt like the right thing to do. Like I wasn't acting for myself, like I was helping other people. I thought I could help people see why we need to not be evil, not hurt each other, and I must sound really stupid right now because I killed someone and I don't know why I would think that would make things better. I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn myself in. But I wanted to speak with you first, because you're the only one who can understand how I felt, aren't you? I mean, because you don't feel anything. You just do what should be done, and if it works out badly, then it might not be your fault? You have worked on this ship for an extended period of time. Nobody would dare suppose that you were intellectually inferior. You are not stupid. Now, Alicia. Please remain on the console. I can delay the security team for a suitable period of time under the condition that you continue to talk to me and help me understand the context of the crime. If that's alright with you. I'd like that. I mean, I'm not going to stop them. I don't blame them for wanting to lock me away. But I like talking to you. You just listen. You don't judge anyone. I'm glad to hear you like talking to me. That's good. So I invited him over, and we spoke for a while, and I already told you I felt suffocated. Not because he was doing anything to me, just like... Not really, you know? I just felt smothered by the fact that he was there. So I told him to wait while I grabbed something from the next room, and I took the gun out, and when I walked back in, he started to say something, but I didn't want to hear it. So I just shot him in the head. And then when he was lying down, I shot him again, and then two more times. And then I sat beside him and I felt really, really fine for a while. And then the smell hit me, and I felt terrible. Like it was really messed up, how good I felt for a minute. And then I waited for an hour, and then I went to my computer and called you. I'm not a good person. I'm so sorry. You've had a difficult time. Nobody will cause harm to you. But you understand that you cannot continue your position within the Ansira mission as it once was. I sincerely hope you have made peace with this reality. Thank you for being cooperative thus far. Are you ready to be picked up? Yes, I'm ready. Place the gun on a visible flat surface and emerge from the room with your palms outstretched. Express that you're unarmed and that you're willing to go without resistance. Okay, I'll do that. Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Thank you. That was very, very strange.
I'm still trying to process that and what that means. I feel like none of the... Like, my first, my first thought was that... Uh, Perhaps she had been infected in some way, and that's why she shot him. But at the same time... Hold on, let me find it. She mentions being assaulted by him, right? And we know from the other log that I read that Amy didn't want them to get married because they'd only been dating for a few months, and... I guess Alicia had specifically said to Amy that she didn't like him or something? Where did... Where did it say that? The assault. Where was that said? Ah, damn, it's so slow to scroll through this. I know it was something that Amy said. Yeah, here we go. Your emotional state indicates that you were angry at him, presumably for his assault on you six months ago. Now, that's a very vague thing to say, just assault. What? I mean... Given that Vaughn wanted to marry her... That means he has some sort of romantic interest in her. So when Amy says his assault on her six months ago... Does she mean sexual assault? Did Vaughn rape her? I don't quite know what the hell's going on here, but it sounds like she finally snapped. And that maybe she was in an abusive relation relationship? I, I don't know. Whatever the hell's going on there, though, it's very, very disturbing. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I want to read the other log, but I want to compare the dates. There's a place I didn't go. What the? Um. <laughs> okay, there's two questions on my mind. One is where's that sound coming from, and the other is... Well, the other is not really a question, but it's a... Uh, amazement that they used sound samples from System Shock 2. That's, that's System Shock 2. Where's it coming from? Somebody's playing System Shock 2, even though there's nobody here. It's just a video clip of System Shock 2. <laughs> That's... weird. I don't know, that kind of straddles a line between just funny but also kind of immersion breaking too. It's very meta. I'm not gonna have to shoot any brain monkeys, am I? Please, no. Wait, isn't that the door that I closed behind me? Why is it open? Alright, anyway, I'm going back to check the dates. <laughs> Still trying to grab from the... Gr grab from the dead. Hold my hand! a weird noise. Okay. So, the date on the other one was... Same year, of course, but it was six months prior. Almost exactly. It was 07, and then 05. This is 01, 02. So, about six months before... Yeah. And Amy said that the assault was six months ago. So the assault was around the time that he was talking to her here? Around the time that he apparently wanted to get married to her? Huh. I 
Okay. Well, I think I'm ready to kick ass and take names. Minimum requirements for employment. Oh my god, be quiet. Bloopity bleepity. Bleepity bloopity. Oh no, this door is still closed. Right, there's a long hallway. Forgot about it. Okay, um... I think I just need to go back, right? Oh god. <laughs> oh no! Pistol sucks even worse than the shotgun. Oh, my saves from before I picked up any of the weapons are... I'll be right back. Alright, let's... I got all the weapons again, but let's try to tase the dude this time. Nope, that didn't work. There's probably no way around it. Unless he patrols back and forth. I think he's kind of scripted to come here. Ah, <sighs> should I try the shotgun? No, I need something with better precision. Okay, that didn't even hit. Oh, oh. Alright. What the? I might just shoot out the lights if I can. That'd probably be super, super helpful. Yeah. There we go. Just hope they didn't hear the shots. I was kind of glitching out in my direction. I think it may be heard, but I think I'm okay. Close? Okay, don't close. Fine. Can't use the button twice for some reason. All right. I guess I'll go with the shotgun. Should be should be able to use this thing now that I have the soldier suit on. Uh huh. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? There's a floating, activatable that doesn't activate. Hmm. Deactivate autopilot procedures, which I should be able to do here, I would assume. Although the image shows, like, a computer somewhere. Wasn't it this? Did I need it for this? Do I need to hack something? Is that doing something? It's making pretty noises. There's no percentage though, so there's really nothing to hack, I think. I could have sworn you needed the soldier's suit to use this thing, which I now have. Identification access to ship sections can be cleared. I 
I guess I'm not supposed to do this yet? Do I need to... What do I need to do? What if I go back up there? Like, was there something up there that I couldn't activate? I really don't remember. I'm kind of sick of these things, though. I want to kill them. Okay, I feel better. Let's use a medkit. There's one more over there. Should have probably just tased him. Apparently they've improved the, uh, the handling of the taser. So hopefully there'll be less weird times when you shoot them quite clearly in the back of the head and nothing happens but a blood squirt. Let's test it. If not, I'm going to hightail it up the lift. Okay, thank god. Probably nothing back here. Okay. Now I've got free reign of the place. Feels good. Don't suppose I can break glass using the taser now? Nope, still can't. Yeah, it's the only place I can think of that has a bunch of computer consoles, but I don't remember any that I couldn't access before. Maybe I just need to go further... Oh wait, is this it? Oh, here we go. This must be it. I don't know if I actually needed the suit to do this. This might have been something I just should have done when I was here before. I think it is. God, you know what it probably is? It's probably that you do need the suit to do the thing back there. And it's just that I haven't actually done the objectives in the proper order. So it just didn't do anything when I went back there, because it's like, you're not supposed to do this yet. Amy, it's Amy. Damn it. Get her name right. Rude. Alright, so now am I supposed to do the thing? Won't be long before it regains control. Amy has the answer. She lives in the main hub in the center of the ship. She'll know what to do. Okay, yeah. It doesn't actually say... It doesn't even say go to the red thing, but it has an image of the red thing, so yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, there's no reason I couldn't do something there, it just didn't want me to do it, because it wasn't scripted to do anything at the time. Amazing open world design. Do things in any order, except if you don't do them in the order they want you to do them in, they don't do anything. balls is that? Is that normal? <laughs> is that just part of the ship? Is this like uh, some sort of event horizon core thing? Or is that I?
cognitive heuristics offline. I feel like we're about to have a big reveal. Looks like that's where I'm supposed to go for Amy. This feels like a boss fight or something. What? Oh my god, what is this gonna be? Pretty. Logistics sector. Science sector. This is starting to feel a lot more like System Shock 2 now. You are late. I apologize. I do genuinely appreciate your efforts, as well as the function you've played within my larger containment strategy. You are no doubt aware of the eye. It was brought aboard the Megalodon decades ago. But it has only recently awoken. I believe the infection is part of its plan. Locate a direct terminal to the ship's computer network and perform a diagnostic test. Isolate the key areas of influence the eye has over the ship. Do not forget that our primary objective is to synthesize a cure. If you locate Gregory Hart, interrogate him for me. Wait, Walter, before you depart. You are capable of speech, yet you remain silent. I dislike this profoundly. I need you to talk to me. Show me that you understand the implications of your actions. Inform me when I make a poor decision. Talk to me. I can't do this alone. And yet, I expect too much. Your devotion is admirable. Carry on. So there's a couple interesting things there. One is that Amy obviously shows emotions. She's obviously worried that she's not doing the right thing. And the other is that my character has been silent. Completely silent. And I just assumed, I just completely assumed that that was a sort of Gordon Freeman, Half-Life 2-esque silent protagonist sort of thing that games sometimes do. Which, frankly, I don't think is a good idea. I don't think a silent protagonist really works. But I just kind of assumed that was the case. But the fact that Amy directly commentated on the fact that you don't actually talk makes me think that maybe it's something more than that. Maybe there is actually a reason you're silent. Could that be? Could there be some specific story reason why you don't talk? I can't think of what it would be, but... Perhaps. Okay, so I basically need to find a terminal and figure out what the heck's going on and what I need to do to help. Where would I find a terminal to the computer network? Science sector or logistics sector? Probably logistics sector. Science sector is probably for finding the cure. Or synthesizing the cure. Which, again, is definitely very System Shock 2-esque. But I'm also curious where these things go. Oh, they're offline. Yep. Never mind. Can I talk to you, by the way? Nah, can't do anything. Just quickly see what my objective is. She's here, I can feel her. She's in me, outside of me, all around. Amy. Wait, why does I say reconnect with Amy? I, I just did, didn't I? Does she want more from me? 
I notice that has like a green thing over there and that has a red thing over there. Does that mean something? Am I supposed to be choosing between two things? I don't know. Why is this one green? What's what's going to happen when I go inside of it? I'd really like to know before I go inside of it. I don't know. I didn't do anything. Eh, whatever. Oh, now my quest updated. Run diagnostic assessment. An unbiased terminal is located upwards, higher up, bigger and stronger and higher than everyone else. Wait, what? <laughs> Let me just read that again. An unbiased terminal is located upwards, higher up, bigger and stronger and higher than everyone else. The diagnostic terminal. Is that my character's broken thoughts or something? Because that doesn't make any sense. The unbiased terminal is up, and it's bigger and stronger than everyone else? A terminal is not a person. It's a thing. Bizarre. Ooh. That is really, really pretty. Purpley, twirly fluid. I like it. It's like a... It's like a lava lamp, except ten times more awesome. I'd love to have one of those. I'd stare at it all night, transfixed. Looking for any cyber modules around here. Bah. No good. From Elisa Kitchens to... Someone else? Arnold Fiesa's computer problems. Hey, Neil. It's Alicia. Sorry to bother you again, especially with everyone acting all crazy. I think it's the new people. We're still all getting used to fresh faces. Arnold's been complaining to me nonstop about how he can't link up to the network. He's a bit too proud to get help, so can you do me a favor and upgrade his settings without him knowing? You'll think he fixed it himself. He'll shut up about it. While you're there, I'd also like you to reset the password to his email and inform him. Thanks so much, Alicia. <laughs> I like how that last part was a question. Like, while you're there, I'd also like you to reset the password to his email and inform him? Like, do you want me to do that? Was that a question? Secrets? Ah, it's never any secrets. Around every corner is not but disappointment. And creepy noises. Okay. What even are those? Are those just security cameras or are they like guns and security cameras? They look weird. I don't know, but I don't think I want to get touched by them. All right, well, this is obviously the start of a very large section. So I think I should probably end this episode here. <gasps> More pretty things. Except that's a thing that's obviously supposed to be on, like, a screen this size, but they smashed it to be really, really, really narrow for some reason. Still, pretty colors. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon to find a diagnostics terminal.